Well, have you ever felt that someone was watching you, but there was really no one there? What if someone really was watching? Well, in tonight's special assignment, Ross Blackstone introduces us to Northern Californians who say the government is monitoring their every move, reading their thoughts, and controlling their minds. It's an entire program. It's a stalking, harassment, surveillance, torture. Mary Ann Stratton says she is a walking human experiment. You can't go anywhere without somebody following you, knowing they know what you buy, they know what you purchase. At this rally last summer, Stratton and others explained how the government monitors their thoughts through ultra-frequency radio waves sent by any energy source directly to the electromagnetic waves in their brains. And like I said, they can uh, tune it to any human that they want in this country, just like a radio frequency, an FM, like an FM station. They say the waves can also control their minds and their bodies. They can cause your heart to hurt, they can cause you blast your stomach, they can cause your ankles to give out, they can cause your knees to get out, whatever they direct it to, wherever they can direct the pain to, your body feels all of it. Why? They claim the government is perfecting mind control technology to use in war. And it's all form of terrorism and torture to drive the, the targeted subject insane, to drive the, the human insane. The government has confessed to similar operations in the past using LSD or hypnosis. Now, hundreds of self-proclaimed mind control victims say these documents prove it's happening again. On special assignment, I'm Ross Blackstone for KOVR 13 News. And on our 6 o'clock special assignment, Ross is going to introduce us to a woman who's leading the fight to disclose this information in Northern California.